Well, Tom, that was obviously a, a day of swings and, and roundabouts. Probably a disappointment to lose most of that final session to rain. It's, it's transpired a little bit that way this season. But how, how do you assess the state of the game as it stands? Yeah, you know, it's, it's quite frustrating losing the amount that we have uh, to weather, especially, you know, when we're really pushing hard for the, for the championship. But, you know, normally in a situation like this, if, you know, weather hadn't taken its toll, you'd be would be very happy with the situation we're in. We obviously know that we're up against it time-wise, um, you know, but I think the, you know, what's required is, is quite self-explanatory, you know, we need to, we need to bowl them out cheaply, bat well with a positive mindset and then, and then create 10 chances when we, when we bowl. Uh, we're used to seeing wickets tumble as soon as the breakthrough comes here. It, it looked like it was going to happen yeah. again today and it didn't quite transpire that way, but hats off to Tom Press who played a, a wonderful innings. Is it is it that there's slightly less in this pitch than there has been in some others or I don't think so. Like if you'd you know, if you're watching the the whole day there's a lot of chances that are just falling short of fielders, a lot of balls falling in the gaps. Um I think Harmy obviously bowled exceptionally well like he, he always does and luck just didn't seem to be on his side. You know, a lot lot of balls, you know, taking the gloves, bouncing nicely and then just falling short for whatever reason. So no, I think there's plenty in the wicket. I think it was just one of those days where you have to you know, take it out for the opposition. I thought press batted incredibly well. That's a hundred that he will remember, and it's you know one of the better hundreds that you'll see um, at Chelmsford. Um, but I, I do feel that we were a little bit un unlucky, um, and, and hopefully we can rectify that come second innings. Yeah, and going into tomorrow, what's the plan? Is it is it bowl them out as quick as you can and, and then put runs on the board? Obviously, if it comes to trying to bowl a side out in, in two innings, it's not ideal, but it's something that we have seen here before. Yeah, I mean, you know we've. We've bowled sides out in a session before, which is testament to the guys that we've got in that changing room. Um, but I think it is quite, uh, you know, it's quite simple what's, what's required. You know, we need to bowl them out as quickly as we possibly can. We need to bat with a positive mindset um, and then create as many chances as we possibly can in, in the overs that um, that we have available. Um, which is something that, as a unit, we're, we're definitely capable of doing. So hopefully, it, it will be a very exciting day's day's play tomorrow if if it doesn't rain. And elsewhere, three caps handed out earlier this week all, all three lads showing what they can do this game obviously Rosso and Critch with a brilliant partnership and Paul coming on with a bit of a golden arm golden as arm, well yeah. there good so great for them to to be acknowledged for their contribution yeah. to the club no it's, it's it's a fantastic achievement obviously to receive a county cap um and it and it's actually a, you know an honor, an honor and a privilege to, to hand them out um you know they're you know established first team cricketers I know the likes of you know Matt Critchley and Adam Ross haven't been at Essex for a long time, but you know they've played a lot of first team cricket elsewhere, and they're you know instrumental to our hopefully success at this at this club. And and you know Paul Waters, someone who came into the game later on, but I think it's testament to his character and determination that you know he's been he's received his, his county cap. He's obviously a stalwart on the white ball side, but you know like you just touched on there, he's got a knack of getting wickets and he scores valuable runs at, at a good rate. So could be Paul Waters' day tomorrow.